Hey kids, welcome back to today's episode of Agape Kids. I hope that you've been enjoying learning about the books of the Bible. So, today's book that we're learning about is the book of Psalms. But before we start, let's pray. Thank you, Daddy, for another episode of Agape Kids. Please help us to remember everything that we learn. Thank you that you love us so very much and help us to always love each other and you. We pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you ready? Let's start. Ginger, do you know how to sing? Of course I do, Moses. I have a beautiful voice. La 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 la! <laughs> Thank you for that, Ginger. Did you know that God gave Christians beautiful songs in the Bible? Really? In the Bible? Uh, are they in between the Bible books? Some of them are, but most of them are in the book of Psalms. Oh, let me guess. Um, is that the book we are learning about today? Yes, Ginger. Psalms is full of poems or songs that praise God, worship God, and help us speak to God. Oh, and tell me, how many Psalms are there then? There are 150 Psalms. Amazing! Uh, who wrote all those Psalms? David wrote most of them, and the rest were written by different people. Even Moses, the real Moses, wrote one. Ho oh, ho, that's wonderful! And when were all these psalms written? They were written about uh, 1,440 years and 500 years before Jesus was born. Oh. It took a long time to write 150 psalms. Yes, that's amazing. There must be so many different kinds of psalms then. There are, and we'll learn about more of them uh, in our Bible story today. Uh, I can't wait! Are we going to sing some of them? Uh, uh, can, I, can we start now? <laughs> Not yet, Ginger. First we have to go learn the memory verse with Jade. Uh, uh, okay, okay, let's go then, let's go. Okay, uh, bye-bye kids, bye, see you next time! Bye-bye! <laughs> It's time to learn today's memory verse. Today's memory verse is in Psalm 46 verse 10 and it says, God says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. In this verse, the writer of the psalm wrote down what God says. God says that he will always be in control and have the glory and we can always live with peace in our hearts knowing that in the end God will always be glorified. It may sometimes feel like we're losing, but God will always win, no matter what. Whenever we feel confused, we can remember today's verse and always listen to what God says. It's also very important to worship God as much as we can, with the songs we sing and also with the way that we live. Let's say our verse together again. Psalm 46 verse 10. God says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Excellent! One more time. Psalm 46 verse 10. God says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Well done! Remember today's verse as we continue to learn about the book of Psalms. Guess what boys and girls? It is time for this week's activity. This week, we are making a musical instrument. It is called a shaker and we can use it to praise and worship. You will need the following material. Glue, scissors, pen, empty toilet roll, blue and yellow piece of colored paper or a plain white paper. Rice or beads, an ice cream stick or a twig from a tree. Okay boys and girls, now that we have all our material, we are going to start by taking our empty toilet roll and our blue piece of paper. Okay, now we're going to draw two circles with our empty toilet roll on the blue piece of paper. Okay boys and girls, now that we are done drawing our circles, 
we are going to cut it out but we have to cut it out on the outer circle and leave the space in between the line and our blue piece of paper. Okay boys and girls, so this is how our circle should look. Can you see the space in between? Okay, now we're going to cut on the outside circle to make ruffles. Now we're going to fold our ruffles up so it can look awesome. Okay boys and girls, so this is how it's supposed to look and we can do the same with the other side. The next step that we are going to do is we're going to take our empty toilet roll and paste the bottom part of the circle, just like that. Okay, okay boys and girls, while we're waiting for it to dry, we are going to pour our beads inside. Okay boys and girls, while we're waiting for it to dry, we are going to measure the length of our toilet roll paper on our yellow piece of paper or whichever paper you are using. Now that we know what the length is, we know how long piece of paper we should cut. So now we can cut the strip up. Now if we're done cutting out our strip, we can put it down. We're going to use it just now. Our next step is to cut a little piece out of this circle so that our twig or our ice cream stick can fit in there. Just mark it where exactly you want and then we can cut it out. The easiest way to do it is fold your circle in half and cut a piece out, a small piece. Now we can paste it on top. Okay boys and girls, we are done pasting the top part and the bottom part. Now we're going to paste our strip around the toilet roll. You can put glue on here and then you can paste it on. Okay boys and girls, now you can decorate your shaker any way that you want to decorate it. So you can use anything to decorate it on the outside. Okay boys and girls, now that we are done with our shaker, we can leave it to dry. Because just now it falls apart if we use it before the time. Remember boys and girls that you can use today's activity to praise and worship. Thank you for joining in to today's activity. See you again next week. It's time to listen to today's Bible story. Today's Bible book is the book of Psalms, as you remember. Now, the book of Psalms doesn't have any Bible stories, but it contains lots and lots of David's songs that he wrote. Let's learn more about David and his songs. David is well known as the young man who overcame the giant Goliath with a stone from his sling. He was also a talented musician and songwriter. After winning his battle with Goliath, David was invited to play his harp before King Saul, who was calmed by the beautiful music he played. David was skilled in writing songs of praise to God, called Psalms. They were poems set to music. In the lyrics, David spoke of God's greatness. O Lord our God, the majesty and glory of your name fills all the earth and overflows the heavens. You have taught the little children to praise you perfectly. May their example shame and silence your enemies. When he was young, David cared for his father's sheep. He knew that God would care for him that way. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Even when walking through the dark valley of death, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me, guarding, guiding all the way. Some songs are prayer of forgiveness. O loving and kind God, have mercy. Have pity upon me and take away the awful stain of my sin. O wash me, cleanse me from this guilt. Let me be pure again. Restore to me again the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach your way to other sinners and they, guilty like me, will repent and return to you. Other psalms are prayers for help or rescue. I am in deep trouble. Rush to my aid, for only you can help and save me. O oh Lord, don't delay. David often sang about the importance of obeying God. How can a young man stay pure? By reading your word and following its rules. I have tried my best to find you. Don't let me wander off from your instructions. I have thought much about your words and stored them in my heart so that they would hold me back from sin. 
Open my eyes to see the wonderful things in your word. I am but a pilgrim here on earth. How I need a map. And your commands are my chart and guide. I long for your instructions more than I can tell. Happy are all who perfectly follow the laws of God. Happy are all who search for God and always do His will, rejecting compromise with evil and walking only in His paths. I love your commandments more than the finest gold. Every law of God is right, whatever it concerns. I hate every other way. David wrote and sang many songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. The Psalms are truly wonderful. They are songs given to us by God through the writers like David and others. We can always use the Psalms when praying or singing. I invite you to go take a look at the Psalms for yourself. But now, let's first go memorize the books of the Bible. Now it's time to continue memorizing the books of the Bible. Today we're adding the book of Ezekiel. So let's say the first 26 books of the Bible together. 3, 2, 1. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel. Excellent! Now let's try and say the books of the Bible as fast as we can. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel. Amazing! You've just said the first 26 books of the Bible. You guys are doing great. Let's go on to the pop quiz. It's time for today's pop quiz. Let's see how much you can remember. You will have 20 seconds to answer the question that appears on the screen. Enjoy!
sadly, we've come to the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you remember what we learned today? We learned that the book of Psalms is full of songs that praise God, worship God, and help us speak to God. We learned that it was written by many different people. We also learned that we can worship God with what we sing and with how we live. Let's pray together. Thank you, Daddy, for today's episode of Agape Kids. Please help us to remember everything that we learned. Please help us to worship you through what we say, what we sing, and with how we live. We love you so very much. We pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.